All right. Sorry, I couldn't wait. But I had to tear into it once I got my package. Uh, this is the first video that I may never publish. <laughs> but <clears throat> uh, let me start by saying uh, thank you, uh, welcome, and uh, if you like the video, leave any comments, uh, criticisms are welcome, uh, and let's get going. So I ordered some uh, stuff off the interwebs, and let's get right into it. Let's see. I ordered um, some cheap pipes, inexpensive pipes. I hope they're not cheap. But uh, from Rossi, I think that's a subsidiary of uh, Savinelli. So I ordered these because I don't own a Savinelli or um, that many other pipes, really. Uh, but I ordered these to check out the quality, and my intentions are to order their counterparts from Savinelli and then do a comparison in fit and finish, that sort of thing. Uh, so, pipe number one. Let's dig right into this. This is a serial number. Let's see. Yeah, it says right there, Rossi by Savinelli. I can't see the camera, so I'm, I'm shooting this on my uh, my phone. Let's see here. This comes in. Oh, it comes wrapped here, and there's some more bubble wrap. You get it in this uh, very high quality. Uh, I'm being facetious here. Uh, pipe sleeve. I don't know what this is made out of. Some sort of processed cotton or something. But anyway, I don't know which pipe this is. I ordered three of them. They're all the same uh, variety, I guess. Uh, same group, but different different uh, styles. So here's the first one. All right, so this is like a pot, squash pot. These are oh, the Victoria. Okay, so this is the, um, I thought it would have the model on here, but the stems are supposedly vulcanite, and oh, here we go. I, I guess, I don't think that I think this is an inventory number for the pipe, so it's not the actual. It's not the actual um, number of the pipe. I'll have to get those numbers, and I will post those in the video down below. So there's the first one. It's a uh, little pot. The bores, but my thumb almost fits in it, but. Uh, here we go. I got all of these from uh, Smoking Pipes. It's my first order. And uh, I was a little worried about getting it because I live in sort of a... Uh, I live a bit of ways from the rest of the U.S. So um, I was worried about it getting here. But, but it made it. So sounds good. We'll do a sort of a review on all of them. <clears throat> Once they uh, all uh, get broken in, maybe. So here's the next one. Next one. Yep. Yeah, these are the, this is the, the individual pipe uh, numbers on there. So I'll have to uh, look up the uh, model, I guess you'd say, model number. Here's the second one. This one feels like the uh, sort of squashed. Yeah. So this is the, I guess this is the author shape uh, that um, has become very popular for Savinelli. Uh, the 320, I think it was called. 
But again, this is quite a large chamber. I like a large chamber that's not super deep, although I, I have a few pipes that are over two inches deep. But uh, that's a long smoke. Uh, the, I'm sorry about all the us. The, the fit on this one seems to be not super, maybe it just wasn't, okay, yeah, no, it was fine, it just wasn't, the stem wasn't pushed all the way into the uh, shank there, I don't know how, I don't know how close this is, because I don't have the phone facing the, the, me, I guess you'd say, but anyway, that one looks to be drilled fine. <clears throat> have some finish that has spilled over onto the the end there but uh, anyway that's the second one <clears throat> so that's the author shape so the Rossies they pretty much have the same model numbers the shape numbers as the Savinelli's except they begin with 8 I think so this would be a, an 8320 an 8320 um, is what that one would be. Here's our third pipe. These are all, like I said before, the same line, I guess, the same finish line. Uh, the Victoria. This is their, I think this is the least expensive ones that they offer. Um, because I wanted to do a comparison between the actual Savinelli brand and these, these, um, more economical pipes, I guess you'd say, that they offer through their Rossi line. Um, I didn't want to go too bad, but uh, pipes are wrapped in here well. They don't want them damaged. I have to give uh, props to uh, what is this one. This one seems like a prince shape. Yeah, I think that's the Prince shape. Anyway, yeah, that's the actual pipe number. So what Smokin' Pipes does, they, they actually photograph almost all of their pipes, except for their super, super bargain ones. Uh, the the Mis Missouri Meerschaums and some of their starter pipe kits, they don't individually photo photo those but I like the idea that you can actually look at the pipe that you're gonna get now some things you're not gonna be able to see online the drilling and that sort of thing the fitment you know you can't actually do that until you get the pipes but this one I can see right down into there this one's drilled dead center comes out dead center I'm not set up to do this. This is my first one, like I said. So you, you may never even see this video. But stems are not super tight, but they're not loose. That's not going to come out, you know. Super easy to, you know, maybe that'll come up some when uh, you run a few bowls through this. Probably the first bowl. But yeah, very nice. These all, all of these were uh, chambered over over three quarters um, so that for me it's it's more beneficial with tamping and uh, you know the check tool I use the check tool but uh, I really prefer I have this little wooden tamper I sort of halfway made the other day when I started my first uh, sort of uh, cop foolery uh, business with a, 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 a corn cob pipe that I got so I made a little tamper, while it, which was also the first time I did any turning. <clears throat> but anyway, then we've got some tobacco. Now I ordered a bunch of samples. Uh, the idea behind this was, um, you know, the area that I'm from, uh, it's not super accessible to quality tobacco shops. And, uh, so, you know, to go out on a limb and pay uh, 10 to $20 uh, U.S.
for tins that you may not enjoy. You know, I see posted online a lot that, uh, you know, people are trying to trade this, that, or the other because, you know, they didn't enjoy a particular tin that they got. Uh, so most of these that I've ordered, well, all of these except for this one here. This is a Cornell and Deal, I think. Captain Earl's Tin Russians. Um, I saw a few reviews of this online, and uh, being a bit of a spirits snob, especially scotch, I was happy to hear their review of, of this particular, it's not open here, of this particular uh, variety of pipe tobacco. Um, I do like Latakia, uh, so I'm really excited about, about opening this bad boy and uh, seeing what it has to offer. Next is a big bag of bulk. So I just got some <clears throat> one ounce uh, samples of most of these. Um, I don't think any of these are aromatics. Most of these, some of you may consider them aromatics, I guess. But I don't believe any of these were aromatics. Um, but most of them are usually focused on, uh, not usually, most of these are, are going to be uh, influence with some Latakia because that's kind of what I enjoy, uh, at least right now anyway. I like the smokiness, I like the campfire uh, aroma that it leaves. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, here's the first one. Most of these I think are Cornell and Deal also. Engine number 99, right there. So I can't wait to dig into this. This is one ounce, that's a pretty good amount there. I don't know if that's exactly one ounce or not, but it looks like more than that. But, anyway, one ounce. Engine number 99, Cornell and Deal. All right, number two, Cornell and Deal, Star of the East. Again, one ounce. Uh, <clears throat> Gawith Hogarth and Company, Balkan Mixture. One ounce. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a, I'm, I'm not up to the stuffing things level of uh, refinement when it comes to, to uh, pipe tobacco, but uh, I'm really looking forward to sampling all of these and piecing out uh, whatever I can pull out of it, taste-wise, aroma-wise, but uh, anyway. Gowith, Hogarth & Company, Black Twisted Slice. Also, I ordered these because most of these that, that I've ordered, um, I couldn't find a review on them on, on the uh, interwebs. So uh, this is uh, probably something I'm going to try to do as far as, you know, a uh, first impression type of thing. And then maybe after I've had some time with it, maybe I'll do a review on some of these. Um, anyway. Guy with Hogarth and Company, Dark Flake Scented. Scented. Okay, so maybe this one is a uh, more aromatic variety. Sort of floral. Sort of a floral flavor on that one. I can't imagine I would have went with that, but anyway, it's not unpleasing. We'll see how that works out. Next. I thought most of these were Cornell and Deal. I guess I'm wrong. Gowith and Hogarth, Bird's Eye, Dark Bird's Eye, Dark Bird's Eye. So yeah, this is like a, this is a shag cut here. This is like, this is almost, this is almost cut to where you could put it in a, a, uh, a Japanese, traditional Japanese pipe. I forget what those are called. I should know considering. Anyway, next, GHC Rum Flake. This one, uh, by the name of it, Rum Flake, I guess that's going to be an aromatic. This is, uh, if you've ever had good rum and you've had too much of it, and you went to bed and you didn't drink your last snifter of it, that's what that smells like. 
no alcohol. Uh, there's nothing, you know, no burning sensation, but sweet, uh, very dark, dark fruit. Anyway, Cornell and Dill, Mountain Camp. This one's almost shaggy, too. This is supposed to be a ribbon, but it's maybe dregs of the ribbon. I don't know. It's not quite all ribbon. <clears throat> anyway, next... Uh, Peter Stokeby, Luxury Navy Flake. I'm looking forward to this. Um, I think this is similar to something that I found several years ago um, in Williamsburg. So it was a bulk variety, and it was called something like Lee's Navy Flake. And uh, I really enjoyed that. that the, I, Pretty sure it was a straight Virginia. I think that's what this is. Peter Stoke would be luxury navy flake. And the last one, I don't know what the number of this is. 10, 12, something. Peter Stoke would be luxury, luxury bullseye flake. This also looks like another variety I got from the same store when I was there in, in Virginia. Um, the cut. There's a little dab of, I don't know if that's Perique in the, in the center or Cavendish, but anyway, looking, looking forward to these. Mm. Okay, enough of that. So, thanks for uh, sticking through all of that, and uh, we'll see you on the next go-around, folks. Later. Bye.